Okay, so here's a really bad review for the uh, LG LS5600 uh, LED TV. Um, yeah, so this is the delicious box that came in. Um, yeah, so it came in actually pretty bad packaging. It's got like two of these things. I'm too lazy to bring them out, but uh, it just like slots them in. It's a bit of a shame for me, as uh, I was kind of hoping to use this box to cart it around. Well, I'm gonna have to use it, but uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's cracked here, courtesy of uh, CityLink. Thank you, CityLink. Um, yeah, so let's move this crap out of the way. Uh, okay, so here's the lovely control. Um, yeah, so that is a control. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, great. Uh, it came with bits of bobs, it's like a cable tie thing. Um, I didn't use that because I have lots of wires everywhere anyway, who cares? Uh, uh, useless manual. Uh, another useless manual. Uh, protection plan. Another useless manual. Um, guarantee. Useless. Um, and it came with like a little uh, thing you can wipe the TV with. Uh, I happen to have already. I've got like a cloth and spray and whatever to clean the TV, which I used for my monitor before. So, oh, here's the cloth. Okay, so there it is. Um, you can excuse. Oh, you can see me. Uh, you can excuse the. Uh, so it's a bit dusty, and uh, well, you probably can't tell on this camera. This isn't really a, a video kind of camera. It's more of a camera camera. Okay, so let's switch it on. Uh, it's got a. Uh, might be able to see. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, see these funny little grey marks across there. Those are touch buttons. Uh, so there's the on button. Let's touch it. Did I touch it properly? No, I didn't. There you go. It's really very responsive. Um, there you go. Comes on. Shazam computer. Um, so the interface is actually pretty good. Let's get the control. Um, so let's have a look at inputs. There we go. So you can get it. there's there's loads there. It's uh, yeah, it's really easy to use. Let's get on to the more interesting stuff. Okay, so grab my mouse. Uh, I always use for really good uh, film for contrast is the start of Star Wars Episode Three. Because <laughs> um, you oh no, that's the wrong film. Stop that. Um, Star Wars Episode Three. There we go. Okay, so see if I can skip forward a bit. And so there we go. Again, filmed on a potato, but you get you know all the bright lights and the dark background from space and whatever. Um, you get reflection from the uh, from the sun even, so you can see. Me. Oh. Um, yeah. Again, not the best because uh, the room's a bit bright. It's kind of early morning at the moment. I say early morning; it's almost quarter past one. So, uh, yeah, there we go. You have to take my word for it, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but the contrast is really, really good. Um, So let's have a look at the other film I had set up for that. This is El Dorado, the Disney film. Or the Road to El Dorado, or whatever. Let's set up here, set play. I've got it playing at the moment through the uh, the TV. So it's not on very loud at the moment. I've only got my uh, computer turned up to half volume. Oops, sorry, trying to change, <laughs> trying to change channel. Uh, okay. So it goes decently loud. I mean, um, again, we're only <laughs> dealing with uh, really 
uh, sort of lower end uh, TV. Um, wasn't that expensive. I bought it for £320. Um, yeah, the sound is actually really good. It goes uh, pretty loud. I don't know if I was killing your ears there with that. I don't know what the sound is like on this uh, camera. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really surprisingly good. You know, I wasn't expecting anything fantastic because, you know, it's only a, it's only a, a little TV. Uh, so if we stop El Dorado, if I can find it again. Sorry if I lose focus on the camera sometimes or it goes off to one side. Um, that's because I'm looking down at the mouse. I'm, I'm actually using a, a thing like this. I'm not using the mouse. So, here I've got up the browser for Battlefield. I'm struggling to control this touchpad thing with one hand. Uh, let's find a server. So, scroll down a bit. Ah, oh, this is a lot of work. Okay. So, what have we got here? Fly maps, maps only. Okay. So, now, now you're going to see the incredible speed at which my computer will load this server, which is going to take a long time. <laughs> so, I've got some software overclocking by here. See of Asus. Thank you very much. There we go. So if you're lucky, I'll cut this out of the uh, out of the final video. The weird thing is, you can see my reflection much better through this camera than you can in real life. It's kind of strange. I guess it's got something to do with the contrast of the camera. Okay, so it is beginning to think about loading. Okay, well that's happening. Uh, we'll go around the back of the, the uh, TV. Let's have a look at the connections. Again, you have to forgive my unsteady hands. So we've got HDMI here, HDMI, VGA, optical, uh, optical, not optical in, optical out, um, DLNA, uh, SCART. I'll show you the SCART in a minute. SCART is absolutely horrible. Um, I haven't got anything to test with component. Um, antenna, uh, the third HDMI, PCMA slot, and USB in, show sure, you the USB in in a bit. Uh, there's also a headphone jack right here. Um, I'd advise never to use that because the sound comes out really, really badly. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, over here we've got uh, one ticket out at the moment. Obviously, it's trying to do stuff. Um, it's got one of those, it's not using a kettle lead, it's got like a, uh, one of those, like, squirrely eight things. I don't know, I'll take it out later and I'll show you. Uh, as you can see, my vocabulary is amazing. <sighs> okay, so, any time now. Oh, that's amazing timing. Um, I think I might have to get the old keyboard and mouse out play Battlefield. It's going to get serious. Okay. So, let's go. I have to do one-handed anyway. Oh, well. Okay, left-handed Battlefield playing. I can do this. Easy peasy. Uh, engineer. Okay. I'm trying to keep it centered and everything. So, <laughs> it looks really, really nice on this. Um, Oh, it's a floating helicopter. Oh, someone just spawned in it. Um, oh, this is really hard. Ah, oh, there's a tank there. Let's get in that chisel. Someone else can be pissed off because I'll probably need this tank. While I'm pussyfooting around. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, you know, obviously, battlefield, graphically intensive, blah 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 blah. blah. Great, magic, wonderful. Um, better than Call of Duty, by the way. Um, yeah, so I haven't even got on high graphics, to be honest. My uh, graphic card doesn't uh, struggle with it all. If you haven't worked it out yet, I have got this connected up to my computer. I haven't got it connected up to Blu-ray. Um, this is not a Blu-ray mini game. Uh, yeah, so yeah, my graphics card doesn't struggle with it at all. Obviously, it's, it's actually running at the same uh, resolution on this 1920 by 1080 or whatever it is. 
Um, oh dear, I'm just crashing into stuff. Um, yeah, so it's, it's running at the same... Oh, there's a guy. I'm just going to drive right past him. Um, let's see if it... Ah, oh, C4. <laughs> Probably wasn't a good idea to drive past him. But uh, there you go, there's my vanquisher. Um, <laughs> okay, so that's enough of that. I've, uh, I want to hide my shame uh, by leaving. Yeah, so for all you computer scientists or techie people, I'm running this on a GTX 460 NVIDIA card. And it runs de deliciously. Um, so what else we got here? Oh yeah, let's try running uh, a lovely bit of... Uh, don't know if anybody knows about Zero Punctuation. Should do. Um, it's funny anyway, he reviews games and stuff, so here's the little online video. I mean, it's really clear. This is full screen at the moment. Um, and I can get it to go right up to the edge. Oh, that's cheeky hands. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I, I, I could just watch this again, I've seen this like before. But anyway, um, yeah, so, you know, everything works well. Uh, what else we got? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, let's have a look at uh, Skyrim. Everybody loves Skyrim. Uh, see if we can get that on the go. Make some things happen. Yeah, so, you know, games look fantastic and everything on it. Um, I probably want to know. Oh, how thin is it? So it's really quite thin. It's uh, incredibly light. We've got a, an old TV over there. It's a 27 inch Philips or something. Um, and that, uh, that's a lot heavier. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what else? Let's have a look here. Let's load up an old game. I'm I'm sad enough to have gone through the game, and uh, before I got this TV, I was like saving up uh, interesting scenes for me to uh, view on it. So let's try and pick a good one here. Again, I'm struggling with my left hand. Oh come on, please go down. What have we got here? A second, I'll get something. I just want to pick something halfway decent. Uh, this will do. So I can see the camera's been vaguely going off to the left since uh, I've been choosing stuff. Okay. Ugh. And I'm not really sure how much use showing you this is, as uh, the quality is probably going to be really horrible once I upload this to YouTube. Uh, any time now. There we go. So, oh, sorry, this is all the mods I've got on. It's having a fun time. So, anyway, here we are, Skyrim. And there's lots of shizzle going around. She has to walk. Where I want to look at. So yeah, lovely. It actually looks really good, even though I've got it on like medium to low graphics. There we go. So let's get out of that. Um, and I think I'll probably show you the USB stuff again and going off center. Um, okay, so let me get my keys out of my pocket. Because I'm really sad, I've got a USB key on my keys. It's a key, it goes with my keys. So, uh, here we have, by right here, the USB slot. In goes the USB. The right way around. It's always good to put things in the right way around. It makes things easier. I'm struggling with my left hand. 
You can see the whole TV wobbling because it's like so light. But uh, so there we go. It's giving me up like a little menu thing of that. So new input is connected. Do you want to use this? Oh, do let's. Um, okay, so if I press down, then I'll go to that. Um, so it's like I've done this. Um, did. So it's, it's picked up on all my folders and everything. Ah, oh, there we go. So um, I put a video on here of the Old Spice advert from ages ago that everyone Hello, loved. ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using ladies' scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell. Like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamond. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> so the weird thing is, uh, that. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. It likes to replay it over and over again. So I did lie. I have tried this me. before. Yeah. There was a tiny bit of preparation going into this uh, thing here. So if we click, uh, so I got out of that by. Uh, pushing down the exit button on the control. So I press it again, hopefully it's going to take me back. There we go, back to my computer. Um, so what else we got here? What about a look at the menus? Lovely menus. Here we go, settings menu. Picture. So, you know, you're just like a normal TV, so you can change everything. Got bright brightness, contrast, whatever. Um, interestingly, this has also got a uh, gamma control. Which is really good. It's right there. Um, so I mean, there's there's loads of stuff on there. There's dynamic contrast. And, uh, I don't know what, what the hell is eye care. Who knows? Uh, real cinema off. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, okay, so there's uh, some sort of wizard there that you can use to set shizzle up. Uh, it's got stuff for the sound, which I don't really bother with. You know, it, it it is only it's, it's just a crappy TV sound. Um, it's never really very fantastic on these. Um, oh yeah, importantly, you're probably wondering about color bleed. Um, those of you who don't know anything about color bleed, uh, it's something that happens commonly on uh, these LED TVs. Uh, it's essentially because they use LEDs, funny enough, would you believe it, um, to light up the uh, display um, as opposed to normal LCD TVs where they actually use cathode ray tubes um, but this doesn't happen on this 32 inch at all I've tried it, I've tested it thoroughly um, I'm pretty sure that, although nobody has ever said this, I'm pretty sure that it's just something that happens on the larger size TVs um, you might get it a little bit on 37 but I would definitely expect it on a like a 42 inch or something, or 40 inch. I don't know what they're going. Um, oh, I don't know if I mentioned this is a 32 inch version of it. Uh, probably should have mentioned that at the start if I didn't. Um, so what else do we have? Uh, oh yeah, it's got this um, thing that I never use: energy saving. There you go. There's a button on the uh, on the remote right there that you can press uh, to change the energy saving uh, I left it too long so it's displayed how much energy I'm saving so if I press right then it puts it to minimum, medium, maximum basically the more you put it to then uh, the darker your screen goes um, uh, oh yeah there's a function where you can turn your screen off by there so it's, it says in that box after three seconds the display is turned off there you go display has been turned off so if I I just press the energy saving button again that, that one there um, and it came back on, so uh, I always keep it off because uh, I hate saving energy. Yep, that's right. Um, I haven't tried the 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 tuner on it at all because I don't intend to connect it to uh, uh, an aerial or anything. Um, I don't think of anything else to show you. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Uh, uh, again, I'm going to struggle with the left hand here. I'm going to struggle away. Try to close all the... I've got loads, loads of things up, like uh, Steam and Origin. 
Let's try and close those. Uh, sorry if this, the uh, camera goes off center for a bit. Oops, I clicked on the shutdown so to restart. So I have got uh, a dual boot uh, computer, so I've got uh, Linux and uh, Windows 7 on here. Uh, my current plan is to show you a little demo of uh, Linux running beautifully on this, because it does. Um, give Windows about 10 minutes to shut down. Anytime now. Anytime. Anytime. I'm I'm thoroughly expecting uh, some comments uh, tell me that it was filmed on a potato, so I'll switch back on now, and we shall choose Linux or startup. Okay, so Linux. Good old Ubuntu. This might take a moment. This is probably the most interesting part of this uh want of a better word review. It's more like a kind of like a show and tell. <laughs> it's like being in year two again. Um okay. the mouse. Okay. So there we go. It's running right up to the edges with that. If you can see. Yeah. Okay. So that's it pretty much. Oop, almost dropped the camera. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the extent of everything I was going to show. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else. I think we might just leave it at that. I'm now going to play on a horrendous amount of games for a horrendous number of hours. Um, so I'm going to restart this and uh, yeah, that's it. Bye bye.